Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Greetings of peace, mercy, and blessings, science minded learners. Welcome to another fun and exciting learning with me, Teacher Pam, your science chum. In our previous episode, you have learned about colloids and their characteristics. What types of colloids formed between two liquids? Great! It is emulsion. True or false? Beaten egg white and whipped cream are examples of foam, one of the types of colloid. The correct answer is true. What are the two types of aerosol? Very good! The two types of aerosol are liquid aerosol and solid aerosol. Science-minded learners, are you excited to learn something today? Me too! I'm excited to teach you new learning. But before that, let me first introduce to you my science buddy, Teacher Keys. Before that, let's do some kumustahan. Oh, she answered already. Hi! What's your name? Hello, teacher kids. My name is Jessel Rose A. Bernardo. How are you, Jessel? I'm fine, teacher kids. Right now, I'm watching Dep Ed TV show on grade 6 science together with my sibling. I hope you will learn something today as we proceed with our topic. Great! Goodbye! Goodbye, teacher kids! Write S if the material is a suspension and N if not. Write your answers on your paper. Number 1. Water and sand mixture. The correct answer is S. Number two, muddy water. The correct answer is S. Number three, dust and air mixture. The correct answer is S. Number four, salt and water mixture. The correct answer is N. And number five, soap. The correct answer is N. Are all your answers correct? Don't worry, science mining learners. We still have lots of activities to activate your mind. Now, let's go to our what's in. Let's learn about suspensions and their characteristics. And to know more about the topic, let's hear it from our science buddy, Teacher Keys. Particles in the surrounding environment that suspend in air and water affect the characteristics of some substances when combined with it. When you put some flour in a glass of water and stir it, the flour will not dissolve entirely in water. But, it will settle down when left undisturbed. Visible particles of flour can be seen to the naked eyes as it makes the water cloudy. Mixtures of tea leaves in hot water is an example of suspension. Tea leaves settle down at the bottom where you can see the two mixtures combined. Suspension is a heterogeneous mixture where visible particles can be seen to the naked eye as it settles down at the bottom or float on top when left undisturbed. Cloudy appearance appears when two materials were mixed. It can be used in processing food, beverages, and medicine. Now, let's have our activity time! First, label the three containers as A, B, and C. 
add 3 drops of food coloring to containers A and B. And put a sand on container C. Then, add another 5 teaspoons of oil to container B. Stir each container for 10 seconds. Finally, observe the mixtures. What type of mixture is inside the container A? Why? Excellent! The mixture inside the container A is a homogeneous mixture because the food coloring is evenly mixed with the water. What type of mixture is inside the container B? Why? Very good! The mixture inside the container B is a heterogeneous mixture because the oil doesn't dissolve in the water. The mixture in the container B is an example of suspension because the oil floats when left undisturbed. What type of mixture is inside the container C? Why? Right! The mixture inside the container C is a heterogeneous mixture because the sand doesn't dissolve in water. The mixture in the container C is an example of suspension because the sand settles down when left undisturbed. Have you gained new learning in our activity? Awesome! From the information that I gave about suspension, Answer the following questions. Write your answers on your paper. Number 1. What is suspension? Right! Suspension is a heterogeneous mixture where visible particles can be seen to the naked eye as it settles down at the bottom or float on top when left undisturbed. Number 2. Give two examples of suspension. Right! Soil and water in a clear glass and oil and water in a bottle. Number three. Give three uses of suspension. It can be used in processing food, beverages, and medicine. Give me a high five, science mighty learners! For a job well done. Again, high five! Now, let's move on to what's more. Oh, we have Sissy here again. So, Sissy, what help do you need right now? I have to pick out the examples of suspensions inside the box. Science minded learners, can we help Sissy again? Great! Is the mixture of gravel and water an example of suspension? Great! Yes, it is! Is the mixture of salt and water an example of suspension? Very good! No, it is not! The mixture of salt and water is an example of solution because the salt can be dissolved in water. Is the mixture of soil and water an example of suspension? Yes, it is! Is the mixture of tea leaves and hot water an example of suspension? Very good! Yes, it is! Is the mixture of vinegar and soy sauce an example of suspension? Right! It is not, because the mixture of vinegar and soy sauce is an example of solution. Is the mixture of oil and water an example of suspension? Yes, it is. Is the mixture of rice grain and water an example of suspension? Very good! It is. The mixtures gravel and water, 
soil and water, tea leaves and hot water, oil and water, and rice grain and water are examples of suspension. Wow! My friend Sissy is so happy. With your help, she's done with her assignment. Yay! Thank you so much, science-minded learner. Hopefully, you will not get tired in helping someone like CC. Now, let's go to what I have learned. Complete the statement. Do it on your paper. Suspension is a blank mixture where blank particles can be seen to the naked eye as it settles blank at the bottom or blank on top when left undisturbed. Suspension is a heterogeneous mixture where visible particles can be seen to the naked eye as it settles down at the bottom or float on top when left undisturbed. Now, let's go to what I can do. Answer the following questions. Write your answers on your paper. Based from the given illustration, describe what a suspension is. How does suspension appear? Suspension is a heterogeneous mixture where visible particles can be seen to the naked eye. And when it is left undisturbed, the pebbles settle down at the bottom. Amazing! It seems like you have learned a lot today from our episode. I hope that you will apply what you have learned from our class today because that's what a scientist do. Science-minded learners, are you ready for our assessment? Choose the letter of the best answer. Write your answers on your paper. Number one. What kind of mixture is formed when larger particles settle out when left undisturbed? A. Colloid B. Suspension C. Solution or D. Solvent The correct answer is letter B. Suspension Number 2 What kind of mixture is formed when oil is mixed with water? A. Solution B. Water C. Colloids or D. Suspension The correct answer is letter D. Suspension Number 3. Which of the following mixtures is not an example of suspension? A. Salt and water B. Oil and water C. Sand and water or D. Chalk and water The correct answer is letter A. Salt and water Number 4. How does suspension appear? A. It appears clear B. It appears cloudy C. It appears messy or D. None of the above. The correct answer is letter B. It appears cloudy. Number 5. Which of the following statements do not describe a suspension? A. Suspension are mixtures of larger particles that are visible to the naked eye. B. Suspensions are particles that settles out when left undisturbed. C. Mixture of soil and water is an example of suspension. Or D. Suspensions are homogeneous mixture and invisible to the naked eye. The correct answer is D. Suspensions are homogeneous mixture and are visible to the naked eye. To catch up with the next lesson on separating mixtures through filtering and sieving, let's stay tuned to learn more. Only here on DepEd TV! Remember, our Almighty God is always with us, and the virus will not stop us from learning. Once again, I am Teacher Pam and I am Teacher Kid, leaving a message 
It's better to learn slowly than to not learn at all. Wassalam!